This year I was fortunate enough to witness the birth of assassins. I captured much of it in photos and on video and I will be sharing it with you here today. The wheel bug is without a doubt one of my favorite insects. Of all the assassin bugs in the United States, it almost certainly has the scariest appearance. Its overall look gives the impression that it is ready for battle, but the cog-like appendage on its back is what puts fear in many people. I mean, look at that thing. However, it isn't the wheel that people should fear. It's a long fang attached to its face. It's a necessary mouth part, but it is also a weapon. Assassin bugs use this straw-like appendage to stab their prey and inject an enzyme that liquefies the victim's insides. Then they suck out the contents. Handle a wheel bug carelessly, and a quick stab from its beak may have you experiencing the pain of a lifetime. However, wheel bugs really don't want to tangle with humans, so just don't mess with them, and they won't mess with you. In November of 2021, I was lucky enough to witness a female wheel bug lay a clutch of eggs. This particular individual had spent most of her life around the outside of my home eating various insects. Wheel bug eggs are cylindrical and brown and look like little root beer bottles. Each top hatch appears to have a tiny sea anemone on it. After some time, the mother left the egg clutch behind and went off to die, which is what happens to female wheel bugs after they complete reproduction, as this species overwinters in the egg phase. And so the winter months passed, and I would occasionally check on the egg clutch to make sure it was okay and that no parasites or predators had gotten to it. In early April of 2022, I was checking on the eggs daily, waiting for signs of life. Then on April 4th, I discovered a baby had made it out. The firstborn was a bit of an early bird as its brothers and sisters waited quite a few more days before they arrived. It stayed close to the clutch and I feared it may try to cannibalize its siblings when they arrived. That sometimes happens in nature and definitely occurs with wheel bugs. However, not only did it not harm its siblings, it seemed to welcome their arrival and even acted as a sort of sentry over the clutch. Eventually, the secondborn popped the hatch and squeezed out. I think it's safe to say that wheel bug nymphs emerging from their eggs have the appearance of some sort of science fiction movie alien creature. But as they exit, their legs eventually branch out and they begin to take their true bug shape. They are yellowish and orange when they first emerge, but slowly turn glossy black, save for the abdomens, which remain orange. Eventually, all the nymphs broke free and stayed close to their place of birth. Over the following weeks, they would venture out away from the clutch during the day, only to return each night. As they grew, while out on these day trips, they would grab up prey, such as flies and other soft-bodied insects. Over time, all the individuals ventured away from the birth site and did not return, setting out on their own to grow, mate, and then die. Some thrived, and some did not. Wheelbug nymphs pass through five nymphal instar stages as they mature into adults. They don't grow the wheel until after the fifth instar. The following is some of the offspring, healthy and hunting in late May 2022. Thank you for watching. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing.